There's no reason to say it, but she says it anyway. We both know it's time for us to go to bed, but she has to prove that she doesn't really want to, even though she does. We've been out with each other for 11 weeks, in which time we've had sex on 14 occasions. On two of those occasions, we had sex twice in one night. These are the only two times this has ever happened to me, so that's 16 times in all. 10 took place in her bed, at her flat, four in my bed, once on my couch. We once had sex outside during the day. This is the only time this has ever happened to me, and I never really thought it would. We split up two weeks ago because she believed that I constantly used irony to hide my conservative attitudes and beliefs. This is the first time we've seen each other since then, and because we found out earlier that neither of us has seen anyone, we both know we're going to end up having sex tonight. I heavily suspect that this will be the last time we'll have sex. I also suspect it will be the best time. Of the 16 times we had sex, on seven occasions, I asked her whether she liked it. She said yes seven times, but I think she lied twice. I was only bothered by it once. I always seem to end up having sex with my girlfriends after we split up, and it's starting to bother me. It seems very adolescent, very sixth form. I had sex lots of times with my first girlfriend after we split up, and then, when we finally did stop having sex, she started wearing those stripy tights, which no one wears now. I thought, shit, now you're wearing stripy tights. I thought they were very sexy at the time, but I don't think I do now. I think if Carol, the ex-girlfriend I'm about to sleep with now, started to wear stripy tights after tonight, then I think I would be glad we'd split up. Of the 16 times we had sex, I of course enjoyed it every time. I enjoy sex mainly because, for me, it's impossible to think of anything else during it. It's the only thing I do where I'm able to concentrate completely. This doesn't make me good at it. I'm neither good or bad. Three of my five girlfriends have told me as much. Though I secretly think one of them thought I was very good at it. Though I think that was because she was bad at it. And she thought that to have good sex, you just had to make a lot of noise. She was only partly right. On three occasions when we had sex, she laughed at some point. I didn't like this at all. I thought this was wholly inappropriate. I know I'm stupid for thinking this. I'm sure laughter is at the core of a good sex life for people far more mature than me. Of the 16 times we had sex, six times she was on her back, six times I was on my back, and four times she was on all fours. This statistic to me seems perfect. I think that it's the right amount of times to adopt those positions during 16 bouts of sex. I wouldn't want you to think that the one time we had sex outside, that we were exposed. It wasn't that daring. We were in a remote place. We were well hidden. Once I was kissing my very first girlfriend on a roundabout in a park, and I was aware of a boy hiding behind a tree spying on us. The boy was maybe about 10. I remember thinking if I was that boy watching this, I'd think it was impossibly erotic, being that near to two people actually kissing. But there I was, actually kissing, not thinking about it, but doing it. As I grow up, I never seem to stop thinking like that. Tonight, when I have sex with Carol, that's what I will be thinking. Here I am, having sex with Carol. Sometimes the thinking is better than the doing. <laughs>